true. In fact, I'm very sure that's not true. What, what's not true? We're, we're live now, Christian, so... Are we? Yeah. You never told us... You, you didn't give us the countdown or anything. I, I said we were going live, and it doesn't you matter. Did you did not. Anyway, you okay, saying? welcome to TFLP Microcast. Oh, There's... really? Oh, no, did they no, catch just... the... No, he did he didn't just something about things. a lie or something. I don't know. He really didn't tell us. Wow. My goodness. Really this is terrible. Welcome to Bye. TFLP Micro. It's past 830, guys. So come on. Yeah, you were struggling with your stuff. Yeah, we were I know. I got caught up and I was like, all right, let's go. And then, yeah, you, you guys were talking. You didn't hear yeah, me. Yeah, you didn't tell us. We should stop making silly voices. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live Tuesday, November 3rd. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, um, so, welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm Lucas. I'm here with Christian. What's up? And Anna. Anna. I introduced myself because I'm so cool. So, so there you go. Apparently, Anna, like, didn't get the memo on what figure we're reviewing tonight. What? We're reviewing a car. I thought we were reviewing <laughs> Prowl next week. This is a oh. car. Bam. So anyway, so we're doing some dots, and so uh, Randall, there you go. Here's Prowl and her tea. You're wondering what was what was happening to him. So some of us have not gotten Prowl yet, but apparently Anna has. So oh, I got Prowl. Are you? Why well, are you so behind, Lucas? I'm the yeah. only one. Yeah, I think I'm getting mine tomorrow. So my kid yesterday. Well, mine came today. It's the only little car I have. Good for you. Yeah, I have the other two. Um, so Randall is mentioning uh, the uh, comic reading group or whatever thing that we have on Discord. Uh, so this week uh, we're going to cover R.I.D. issue six and more than meets the eye annual 2012. So if you want to uh, catch up, I think so far you guys have done. But more than meets the eye, like one through six and robots in disguise, one through what? We did some of it, like one through five, I think. Okay, so. Oh, well, I guess it makes sense. One through five because you're on issue six. So there you go. So anyway, if you want to catch up with that, it's in the Discord group. And then uh, we meet live on Sundays, uh, Sunday nights at 830. So, um. So anyway, but uh, yeah, welcome to our escape from the world for a little bit. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about robots. And I'm going to be so, entirely invested in this conversation on robots and not so, thinking about um, anything else. Right, not, not uh, scrolling social media while you're... Um, what, what we're doing here. So, so anyway, so the main uh, review that we were going to do was uh, uh, Blue Streak and uh, Smokescreen. Yeah. So, Christian's showing off Smokescreen with the, the wonderful 80, that the classic 80 that Smokescreen I, is, right, Christian? I will talk about that. Don't Your worry. Your favorite part of that. So, look, okay, so we're going to talk about that now. He's 80. He's not 38 like he's supposed to be. I thought that, that was his number. Yep. Apparently, and this is something we heard from the Fan First Friday that revealed the Studio Series 86 stuff a couple weeks ago. Uh, Jazz's number is wrong, too, and they brought it up there. And it seems to be related to the 4 for Jazz and the 38 for Smokescreen and the 538 for uh, Wheeljack. It's, those seem to be part of trademark livery for the race cars they were based on so they don't want to get that close to you know having to pay somebody else to use that number that's what it is it's annoying i get it and i'll be making a reaper labels order as soon as they have all three of those available well, i think it's interesting that like had we even thought about that back then you know they would have used random numbers in the 80s instead of, you know, picking out, like, actual race car numbers. But, you know. Here we are. Yeah, there, there you go. I mean, I guess it's, once again, like, one other thing to differentiate between the Masterpiece releases, which are licensed, and these releases, which are not, so. Yep. But 
if we're going to be on smoke screen, let's be on smoke screen first. You guys good with that? Sure. Yeah, totally fine. All right. So about a year ago, we reviewed the Siege version of smoke screen, and I was really harsh on it because its colors are wrong. The blue is not the same blue that it needs to be. And this one still isn't, but it's closer. At least it looks closer to me. See, to me, like, I was never really that put off by the blue. I mean, I guess the red is kind of muted and whatnot. But, like, I was not put off by that. What I was put off by the Siege one was the fact that, like, this body, like, there's so much black in here. And I just, that doesn't look like smokescreen to me. Like, I feel like this, which I guess you're in car mode, like, looks more like smokescreen to me. Yep. Yeah, that's a lot closer to the MP, which is currently on my camera. Yes, and uh, I would like the blue to be lighter, because that's kind of what he looked like in the cartoon. Basically, the perfect blue for me was with the Hinke release. That said, this one is really good, and I like it a lot. He's got guns. He's got guns! And uh, Anna and I were talking today, earlier in our, our chat for the show, and she was like, hey, Christian... Does this gun store beneath the car in this giant space beneath the car? And it doesn't. It should. It doesn't. You can cram it in there, but <laughs> it looks like it should. Like there are several indications that it feels like it's supposed to, but it yeah, doesn't. It's got, it's got these two two tabs right there. And I want to know how much more free space. Because we'll, you'll notice when we talk about the robot mode, but how much more free space that thing has than the old one, than the Siege version. Like, there's no free space under the Siege version. You couldn't fit a gun in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you can, but they didn't. Yeah. I mean, the head gets in the way, but, like, they could have... Oh, you could have done it. I, I sincerely thought I was putting it in there, like, two times. Yeah, well... I mean, you can. at least at least there's a spot to put the guns on the car in the alt mode. You know, like... I guess at least they have the five millimeter ports that you can put them on this top is, of the of the car. This is no so. guns, no guns. And he looks like a good little Datsun-ish race car. I guess a very faithful update of that car mode. It's something we've yeah. seen in Earthrise a lot, but it looks really fantastic here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think my only real complaint is that the wheels aren't painted. I have a chrome pin that will take care of that. Yeah. I, I just yeah. don't like to do that to my figures. I know that's stupid, but I could just go and it. paint it and it would be fine. But, like, um, you know, Blue Streak is painted, but uh, Prowl and uh, and um, is not smokescreen or not. So well, yeah, Prowl's I think insane. it makes sense for them not to be because Prowl's a police car and they don't normally have painted rims. And race cars you know, rotate wheels all the time, so... They, I don't think they typically do either. So it makes sense. I mean, I feel like it's kind of like a nitpick, really more than anything. But well, sure. It is so is my my comment about the blue color. <clears throat> but I mean, you know, it's the little things that are going to matter. Like I'm not even going to consider that version of the toy because it doesn't have the cool facial expressions that the MP does. You know, we're always making our decisions based on little things. Well, you know, that's one that I think is, is interesting in general. And, um, you know, Ben from Ben's Collectibles reviewed Jazz, like the Studio Series or whatever, the Studio Series 86. And he was just talking about how nice it looked and how close to Masterpiece it was, you know, for the price. And, like, I feel like that with these is, like, man, they're, they're so close, especially for the price. Um, but I, I think it's interesting, and I know you've brought that up that like you feel like the faces on the masterpiece are a lot more expressionate. They are. And lately they've been packing in the silly faces, you know, the fun facial expressions, like his silly face he's wearing right now. And that means a lot to me. Like I never put a standard, you know, just straight face on my figures if I don't have to. They're all like smiling or grinning or frowning or 
whatever. Like one thing, I mean, I feel like this this face is really nice. Like, I mean, especially for a mainline release. Like, I think it looks really good. I think it looks the part. And, I mean, honestly, if I had gotten this on the Masterpiece version, and I can't remember what uh, Smokescreen's original face looked like um, at this point. Like, I don't have that figure anymore. But, I mean, I think that this is... I don't know. It's it's good enough for me. So, Catherine mentioned not liking the feet on the Siege version. Personally, I think the feet are the one thing of this new figure that's actually worse. Do you well, want to say you like about, the, about feet. the car before we talk about feet? Um, I don't remember the feet on the Siege version. Oh, shoot. Mine is currently a car right now. I was going to say, this is what the yeah, feet look um, like on this. They're kind of the same. Yeah, well, I would say they're kind of the same. Well, they're similar. But these have a little bit more of a front toe, right? There's a little more of a front toe, but the inside is all hollow. Well, it's hollow if you don't pull down the piece that goes in. Yeah. Is there a piece that the... goes in there? Yeah. Yeah, see, see how okay. it is? No, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah there should a, be a little... It's essentially a gap filler. It's there for vanity. I but... still don't see it. It's probably part of that clear window, unless yours doesn't come with it. Mm -hmm. I need to go home and study. See, it, it looks like this. Yeah, it's red on blue streak here. Yeah. And it, it yeah. rotates up like that. Do you have it? On one foot I do. But cool. not on the other foot. Nice. Hmm, there you go. Return. I'm sure Amazon, like that, ho hopefully you can get another one. So it just kind of hangs in there? It just yeah. kind of yep. exists? And if you if you make the foot go flatter, it kind of con conforms to the shape a little bit more. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, mine is... And then there's face. also like a little heel to it as well. Yep. The heel is nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the heel... Well, I haven't been able to get that part to move online. Is it supposed to go down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I give him a toesy. A back toe. Like some sort of fur creature. Well, it means that he can sit on a uh, even surface with the like the toes and the heel as opposed to sitting on just the flat part of the car. Right, right. Which that is it, it, it's an ability to give more dynamic posing. Which I know it's a, a very thing. vague version of a foot. That's true. I don't know. I mean, what, what's the masterpiece look like? Hold up your masterpiece. Masterpiece looks here. exactly like that. Right. I mean, it's like I, I feel like yeah, any complaint that you that give, in, it's it's exactly I, the same thing. I, I, I feel like any complaint that you would give for this, like you'd have for the masterpiece, because again, like there's gaps on the back, but I mean the masterpiece like that too. Um, and the same thing. I mean, like it doesn't it doesn't feel hollow at all. Like I mean, I just feel like this is. Like, they totally took the Masterpiece figure and they scaled it down to $20. Yeah. Yep. And I, I think, okay. honestly, like, for me, I think this is the most successful of all of the molds. Like, of all those car molds, um, you know, having um, Sunstreaker in hand, having, like, some of the others. You don't think so? I, I think it might be the Hoist Trailbreaker mold. You like that one better? I think I like that one better. I, I disagree really with like you guys on the feet. I think the MQ feet are better, but that's just me. Yeah, they're these the Earthrise ones are clearly inspired by the MP. Clearly they're, inspired by yes. Like, I mean, like again, the masterpiece is is better. Yes, like I, I 100 percent say that the masterpiece is better. The question is, is it four times the cost better? Yeah. I don't know that's, about that. That's the thing. That's I mean, tricky. I just I now learned about no. these black parts since one of mine had fallen off in the package. It is here. It is oh, here. Yeah, look at you. Well, I noticed, I thought I saw some sort of visual artifact fall to the floor when I opened them, but I just kind of like erased it because it didn't seem like it was real. And then when I noticed this was missing, I thought perhaps that visual artifact was on my floor somewhere. 
And it nice. was. Glad your pups didn't get to it. Yeah, they don't care about plastic, really. Oh, good. So, Christian, so, my, my question is, in general, like, are you annoyed that we got the Siege versions and then we're getting Earthrise now? Like, it's yes. like one of those things where we got Siege, we had that a year ago, and we're like, oh, this is great, and now we get these, which are better. Yeah, I mean, from our Toy Fair podcast, you know, way back in February which was like 18 years ago, I've said I was annoyed by Earthrise for that reason. Earthrise is much better. I enjoy them way more than Siege, but it does make me regret buying Siege because now I'm trying to sell all of Siege. All right. See, I don't think that the Earthrise Prowl and Friends is actually better. I actually like the Siege better. I'm the outlier here. So okay. Prowl, Prowl specifically, like this mold here, like I like the, like the bottom part looks kind of neat, but like, I just don't like this headlight part. Like I love the new headlights on these new figures oh, yeah. compared to the, old, to the other ones, especially, yeah. and like, he's like the worst offender of all of them. Like, I think that, um, Blue Streak is probably the best one of the, uh, Siege ones, but I don't know. Yeah, Blue Streak or Barricade. It's I go back and forth on different days. Well, and honestly, the Barricade, that's the thing I'm really debating about what is like, do I need that Barricade pack with the with another figure that I already have a slightly different deco of, you know, um the punch counter punch? Like that's what I don't know. I don't know how easy it will be to, to sell it. The, I guess the Anna, you would mention it. be very easy to sell the Crunch Counter Punch. I will yeah. I will just take it from you. I'm turning mine into Night Beat, like I said I would. Hey, that's cool. So you should do that, Lucas. Be inspired. See, I don't know. I feel like, you know, Randall says we just need an Earth Mode side swipe and how now. The I mean, I feel like especially with Sunstreaker. I mean, the Sunstreaker car looks a lot like uh, Sideswipe. So it's like, I, I don't see why they would necessarily redo it. Like, they're. Yeah. And, Randall, what I'm doing for that, um, our friend Nonef makes a kit. It's really just a piece that gives that Sideswipe mold a spoiler. And I'm getting one for every version of that mold because having a spoiler on that Sideswipe mold really earths it up. Like, I know I really, it doesn't sound like it should make that much of a difference, but it totally does. I'm really curious to see, because I noticed um, the color is a little bit off on all of them. You know, like, you just can't color match them perfectly. And sure. so, I, I really would be curious, Christian, if you order that, like, how close it is. We'll find out soon. It's on my list of stuff to get as soon as he puts out the Tiger Track one, which, since those are shipping right now, may be as early as this weekend. Yeah. So yeah, spoilers on that. Hound, I think Hound looks close enough to Earthy. I mean, I don't know what you would really do with that. But again, they did it with these guys, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it eventually. It looks close enough to Earthy, I think so. We want to talk about Blue Streak? I mean, we talk about the mold bits with uh, Smokescreen, but here's Blue Streak and his painty glory. And once again, like we said last year with the Siege Blue Streak, the paint on this blue string is really good. Like, it just shows that they are capable of doing a lot. He's just a prettier figure, or a prettier character. He's a pretty, pretty boy. Yeah, I think it's funny that somehow, like, why? what is it about blue string that they always give him, like, a little bit extra paint decos? Like, even though the, the Prowl is an exclusive, right? So, like, you would think that he would have extra paint decos, but, I mean, I guess it's not bad. No, the is like, is there anything paint, missing? I like, I guess that there could be some yellow paint on Prowl, uh, potentially, like last year, and I don't really see that, right? Yeah, there's no yellow on him, I don't think. I think he's just white and black and red. Yeah. Maybe it's just the silver plastic color they use for Blue Streak That's that pops more than white or, I think or black. because my version of Silver Streak is literally, um, or Blue Streak or whatever the hell his name is, is literally the... Um, custom robots one you know the the not rebel tech rebel tech and he still has a better like color palette i think it's just that red and silver look great it's probably what it is blue streak and laser beak should hang out 
Yeah, I and, and Randall mentioned really too. Like... Smokescreen uh, has a different chest, like yes, grill, which is yeah. It's nice. Yeah, he's got the he's got the racing splitter as opposed to like the civilian bumper. He gets to be himself, which I think looks really good. I mean, oh, you know, a lot yeah. of times you know, with remolded parts, they're like, "Oh, that's clearly a remold." If you weren't really looking, I mean, they, they both blend into the rest of the figure so well. Yeah, he looks really good. I wanted to say that you know just. With my, like, comparison of the two figures, you know, it all comes down to robot mode. So the car mode, I compared the car mode side by side, and the car mode is clearly an improvement. Like, there were right. a lot of oddities with the Siege car mode being a Cybertronian mode, and it just looked like, you know, an uncanny valley car. And this looks like the car it's supposed to be. Like, it's a really good car mode on the new one. I just don't like the loss of a little bit of girth in the in the torso right the the siege one actually has a pretty a thickish torso and the his arm up thick torso skinny torso but i don't really think i don't know i don't think it's bad like i don't think it's something where i'm like oh man i'm missing like it's hollow or missing parts or anything like that i mean no, I, it's just a lot of us are going to pick between the two molds and I think for me, right. you know, that makes it harder to pick because I do like the car mode a lot better. I think the overall look is really good on this. I don't like the fact that, you know, these legs have weaknesses for sure. You know, they're so skinny, but they don't feel hollow. They just feel skinny. And then these yeah. legs have a lot of hollow in it. There's problems on both sides type of issue. Yeah. They're both really good. So you really can't say either one is actually bad. Uh, no, I never would. I'm I skinny pre- shaming Prowl, not fast shaming him. <laughs> I definitely prefer the Earth modes, but that's just because this is how they looked. You know, right. these, this particular character, or this group of characters, was never shown in Cybertronian modes back in More Than Meets the Eye or um, the first couple Marvel issues. Just, it just didn't happen. You know, we we saw them in War Within, and the siege modes are not that, so I don't care. I mean, this I think looks like they're appropriate Earth modes, and I really like it. The yeah, thing do. that slightly annoys me is is that the siege modes, like I, knowing that we were going to get two versions of the character, I wish they would have done them a lot differently for siege, mm-hmm. like made them wilder, you know, just whatever went out of left field. Like the fact that they're so close. Yeah. Like, I don't, I mean, it's the same thing with uh, Megatron's the same way. Like, the Earthrise Megatron, I think, is a nicer figure than the Siege Megatron. Like, if you're just taking the regular releases. But, like, they're so close. Like, it's it's just weird how they remolded. Like, if you look at all these figures, all of them, they remolded so many parts. And the transformation's, you know, different and whatever, you know, right? But then they end up being so close. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's really weird because it's like, you know, we'll talk about this next week if we talk about Ironhide, but, like, he is minimally changed. These guys are really changed, yet so similar to Bot Mode. Right. It really the final does product me, is just so similar. It really doesn't make me feel that Siege was a waste of time. And it's I hate to say that because yeah. at the time... We all really loved Siege. We are like, this is the best it's ever been. How could we it get better? We got that helicopter mold from Siege. You're right. I, You're right. I'll get the whole line for that helicopter mold. That helicopter mold is immaculate. I'm, you know, I'm essentially replacing more than half the line <laughs> yeah. with better versions a year right. later. And that just, that doesn't seem right. I'm still not happy with that. I'm very happy with these new toys. I'm not very happy that I'm having to buy them again. You know, Siege is going to be Cybertronian but... modes do Cybertronian modes for characters that had Cybertronian modes. You know, wh- the where's Box, where's Box Jack? Else. You know, with Jazz that has Cybertronian You know. Right. Like Lucas said, make them different. Yeah, I agree with that. Although the Seekers are very different, yet they're the ones the that bother me more. Ah. Well, it's just, it's such a clearly better toy. 
the new one is just like it's a clearly better toy than the triangles of terror it's like those things were fine they were fun robots with a little bit of a problem and not really good jets and then the new ones are just like oh this is an all-around good toy poop i did like the tetras because they looked essentially like they were supposed to they right. did have cybertronian modes and they looked yeah. like them and that was good I will forever be upset that we didn't get Box Wheeljack. I'm sad we didn't get him, too. I would like a Box Wheeljack. I'd go for it. It's, a, it's so different than what he normally is, because normally he's like a really like flat wedge, which is totally a different shape. I mean, <laughs> anyway. I'm in agreement. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think that for myself, like... Getting these figures, um, you know, makes me, you know, feel totally justified in selling off my Masterpiece collection. Because, one, oh, I, don't yeah. think, I don't think that Masterpiece is ever going to be completed. And so, I mean, I think that if you, if you go and you mix third party of Masterpiece and whatever, um, you know, I think you can do it. But, like, with this, I mean, I think that you're... You're essentially going to be able to complete your Transformers collection and, and you know, catch them all and, and whatever for them. I mean, obviously, there's still holes to be filled and whatnot, but, like, um, you know, they're hitting most of the characters and they've hit most of them in the last few years, too. I agree with that, actually. I think that if I didn't own the MPs already for Prowl and Smokescreen... I wouldn't see the point in getting those at this point. Like, I really do love the facial expressions on Smokescreen. I really do, and I'm not going to replace them for that reason. But if I didn't have it, I don't think I would spend the extra, you know, $60 to get a cool facial expression. Like, I think it's like a sunk cost. It's cool. But if it was today and I had to make that decision, you know, everything else is fine about the figure. I can get over the hollowish legs, especially with these new leg defenders that I didn't know about. On the well, and I think here. too, you know, back in the day, a lot of us got the masterpiece versions <coughs> for between sixty and eighty dollars, right? And you yeah. can still get a lot of those cars for that price, like if you're buying them secondhand. Um, but like Sunstreaker and Hound and those newer ones are like a hundred and twenty bucks. Like B was over a hundred, you know? And so it's like, yeah. at that point you're like, I mean, these, and these are more fun too, especially like the older ones weren't bad, but it's like more and more. And again, like, you know, the masterpiece gets getting better and better and it like more realistic and all that type of thing. But then, I mean, this is the more fun toy. Yep. Yeah. I, I agree with that most of the time. If your priority is to have fun toys, you have fun toys here. I really love the MP mold for these guys. Like, I think this is a fun toy. Like, I enjoy <laughs> playing with it. I enjoy transforming it. So, you know, it's a hard sell for me to want to shift from the MPs for those. You know, I'm hoping we get another, although I know we're getting barricaded again, but I'm hoping we get another obscure character so I can keep a version of this mold of somebody kickoff would be good who knows jackpot maybe i'd rather see jackpot from jazz i think yeah he worked from either i think i'd want him from jazz too though kickoff would be fun or um another one that that blue green one from the uk i think Mm -mm. Mm mm-hmm Dang, Peter's not here to help me on this one. <laughs> I don't have the name. Sorry, Christian, I can't help you here. It's, a G, it's like a G1.5 Action Master. Oh, we're not good at it, sorry. Maybe, maybe Randall can help you. Oh, well. So, yeah, I honestly, like, you know, when I pick up this thing to mess with it, I really do like it. Like, it's really fun to play with. It's a good toy. It's just, you know, I have a better prowl already. And that's okay. You know, like I wouldn't make the decision to buy the better Prowl these days because Prowl isn't like one of my favorite characters in the world or anything, but he is one of my favorite MP molds. How is Prowl not one of your favorite characters? 
Eh, I mean, I just never really latched onto him as a kid. I like this comic book version that I'm reading in book club. I enjoy that version of him. He has a you really can, strong You can get that version of Prowl. Um, uh, who is it? Is it gener- Generation Toy? Is it Generation Toy that made it? Or is yeah. it G Creation? No, G, G Creation. They actually reissued it. Are they not the same? I have no idea. <laughs> Some company made a version of it, and yeah, he exists. Okay. He, he looks nice. I'd rather have this, though. I I like this yeah. look better. I can just give him that personality. I, I think we've been kind of bouncing around this, but uh, for me, I really do like that MP, and I'm selling most of my Masterpiece stuff, and I'm keeping proud just because I like it so much. Yeah, but like Anna said, I wouldn't get into it now because I don't think you know Prowl or Prowl Plus is is worth you know four or five times this price. Like it's not it's better. It's not four or five times better. Yeah, for, you know, for me to pay that that price, twenty bucks think... versus eighty bucks. It just it's just there's no contest. But if you're going for that that realistic, like Masterpiece is still your best bet. If you're going for fun toys, go with Earthrise. Yeah. I that's totally reasonable. Or Siege, if you like the Siege look better. Or Siege, if you like that one better. Yeah. Just depends on who you are. Like, these two toys are super equivalent in goodness. Like, they're both very good. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't one think is... this is a necessary upgrade from Siege. For, for me, it is. But, for, like, in general... I don't think you really need to unless you just like these so much more like I do. But they're comparable figures. Very comparable. I'll be interesting to see the barricades side by side because I I won't have an opportunity to see any other ones side by side. I do like the new barricade because it looks very much like Casey Collar's concept for it. But I will miss the translucent purple from the Siege version. The translucent purple is so good. I may transplant the translucent purple wheels onto the new version if they fit. Those translucent purple wheels are great. They're so pretty. That means I can't sell it, but that's okay. I'll just right, I'll but I mean, cool wheels. At the end of the day, I mean, I don't know how much you're going to get for these figures. You know, it's not it's not like that. You know, you're selling them for like as you know a lot of money so yeah it's true if, if you want to customize one or the other or whatever it's you know that that's the thing that's kind of nice about the mainline figures as well like where the masterpiece that you know again you know they're they're worth more money so you're probably not going to turn them into custom fodder as much yep. yeah i agree i think that'll be my plan now that i'm thinking about it more so stay tuned and February or March or whenever we're supposed to get barricade and I'll show you. Good luck with that. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of like those figures too. Like, you know, I got the, um, what was it? The clones that are coming and uh, like, I'm, I'm debating. It's like, should I like, uh, cancel those orders and, and whatnot? Cause it's like, do I really need, it's like, I already have other slightly different decos of those. You know, that's what I kind of feel like with a lot of this stuff. It's like, man, do I really need to be getting slightly different variations of all this stuff? Not really. Stuff? No, so. I said no to both sets of clones. I mean, I know they're different. Yeah. And I get why they're different. They're not that different. They're not that different. Right. Peter would tell you exactly how and why they're different, and I understand. But I already have the ones I have. I don't know. But that's where, like, I'm going through with all that. It's the same thing as, like, the Power of the Primes Abominus, too, that whereas, I don't know, right now I have it on order. I I think that one's really different. I've I've preferred all the Takara ones over Hasbro uh, for those combiners, so it's like, I think I'm gonna have to get that one. I did decide to cancel Volcanicus. Yay! I I like the one I have, and I've customized it, and it's fine. Um, basically that Volcanicus order was a play it safe until Studio Series Grimlock got announced and presuming we're getting the other four Dinobots that way. He's Catherine great. does He's make safe. a good point with troop building these guys. Uh, especially the clones. The cloning clones. So, yeah. Do you make a point? I troop builded Siege Prowl and he's now three auto troopers in my collection and I will keep those because that's what they are. 
that's cool. I remember yeah, doing see, that. Christian, what you should do is is you should turn the Siege versions into, like, the ones that were on the cartoon. Like, the different colored guys that were in the background. Mm. You know? Like, yeah, just maybe. dump them in a bucket of mixed paints. And be like, you're, you're generic now. Although, what if I could turn Barricade into a Decepticon auto trooper? That's not a bad idea. If I'm already taking pieces off of it to... Anyway. I'm then you call him an auto I'm, pooper. I don't think Smokescreen and Blue Streak would do good in that transition, but Barricade might. I don't think it's a auto pooper. Randall yeah. says we need more impactors. Luckily, we're getting more <laughs> impactors, so. Yeah, luckily, we're getting more impactors. Don't, at least don't one you more. worry. We, don't, we do need more COGS, though. I feel like there there was not yeah. like a re release of COGS. We need, we need a lot oh, of those. My. I want a lot of them in a lot of different colors. If you if they released a pack of those, like like a yeah. three pack of cogs yes. in like different crazy colors, I think Please. I would get it. Yeah. Cog is my you favorite guys. character from the new show. Absolutely. No question. Yeah. Well, Fast Track is kind of like Cog. Like, I mean in what it's, way? It the transformation similar. Oh, okay. I, I don't yeah, know Fast Track right. yet, so I don't know about I don't that. Know either. Amazon claims they'll be here tomorrow. I have my doubts. <laughs> if they haven't shipped yet, that might they be... They haven't shipped yet. Difficult. I don't know. These things... This guy shipped like 12 hours before I got them. I haven't given up hope just yet. Yeah. It's like ran it over to my house real quick. But I'm skeptical. Yeah, we'll see, but... I don't know. So, I mean, these Earthrise Dotsons, I mean, I think that they're a great... I think they're an upgrade, and I personally would definitely get them. So, I, I like them better than the Siege version. Yeah, I'm super glad I got to play with my Prowl today, because now I can say, you know, I would recommend them too. Because it's a good mold. It's totally fine. It's totally good. And I could see, you know, building your collection with a mixture of the two molds to have a little bit of variety, if you're a person like me who likes that sort of thing. And, you know, just picking whichever one she thinks are the coolest. They're all good. I agree with all that. If you really like your seed ones, keep them. If you like these better, get them. If you want to blend them, blend them. You really can't go wrong here. So, I was going to mention, tomorrow night, uh, the return of Vouch My Wallet. I think they might be calling it Oof My Wallet. I don't know. Paul was messing around with some different... We, we were spitballing uh, names on TFLP last night. Uh, I need to I spitball at Paul him then because Oof My Wallet would be so bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Talk, talk to Paul. So we're still still trying to figure that out. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be on tomorrow night. So... Uh, 930 Eastern, 830 Central on uh, our YouTube channel. So um, so for, for everyone who is asking for it, um, it's it's back. So there we it's go. It's going to be a super exciting episode too. Wink. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Paul is trying to run the uh, hosting software for the first time. So I'm sure that there will be issues. <laughs> technical It'll issues so if it starts fun. late or you know whatever if there's problems um, if there are no technical issues i will cause them yes exactly exactly so and uh last night on tflp we had the guys from toy robot magazine back uh to give us an update on how their magazine is uh doing and they they have uh the second issue actually up for pre-order now and i think it's going to be shipping printing i think like at the end of november and uh and shipping out so so it's good to see that they are continuing on with their with their journey because you know i don't know toy fair magazines not there i mean there's not a lot of magazines in general anymore so mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of fun to see you know see a magazine out there so and you'll have to borrow my issue too then <laughs> there you go so yeah, you can you can have it back in. I read it now, so perfect, perfect. We'll just wait for me to get issue two and on that to get as well. So, 
There we go. That one would be hollow foil, though. I'm only doing that once. It's mm. too scary to own a cover like that. <laughs> so, or you can collect all the versions, Anna. So there you go. Nope. Be a variant collector. <laughs> so. I've never caught them all. I've played a lot of Pokemon games, and I've never once caught them all. It's not my fame. Not my fame. All right, well, uh, do we have anything else we want to cover? No? Come to Book Club on Sunday? 8.30 Book Club. There you go. Yay. Discord. All right. And, uh, yeah, continue. If you want to continue the chat, join us on Discord. Um, and that's where the book club is as well. So, uh, thank you to everyone in the chat Jacob, Randall, Catherine, Tony. Uh, I think I got everybody. Uh, but, yeah, thanks, guys. And we will see you next week. See you later, friends.